Hi, Ambassadors. Rick here from the Equal Life Ambassador Program. This is Impact Tutorials, um, and I guess it's part two in our Did My Order Track series. Um, and this tutorial is going to specifically look at a report called the Conversions with Order Number Report. And the reason this is important is because um, you can really kind of gauge if your order's tracked or not based on looking at this report and finding the order number associated with the order. And then if you have the order number from your clients on the other side, you can kind of match up and see what is in your account and what, what may not be in your account. Um, so I showed you the pending action screen in a previous tutorial. That's a good one. It's a good quick check uh, for what's been happening recently as far as orders tracking to your account. But this is a more comprehensive check um, and you can also encompass like a much larger uh, period of time as well. So this is a really good report. So I'm going to show you how to access this. So you start on your impact dashboard as usual. You're going to scroll down and under this resources module, you're going to see a conversions with order number hyperlink. You're going to click that hyperlink and that's going to bring you to a new tab. <laughs> for some reason, but it brings you to this report that's an impact. Now, this is a really good report. Now, I don't know if it's gonna show, hopefully it'll show my order that I placed today. Sometimes it's a little slow to show up in these reports. And I, I'm hoping that something shows up in these reports for this for the, the purpose of this demonstration, just so it's a little easier to see, but we'll see in a second. So you can, filter which dates you want to see in this report. So I'm just going back a couple months here. I click this, I go back, I select August 1st as my begin date. And I'm selecting January 17th as my current date. That's today when I happen to be recording this. And I'm going to just hit apply on this and see what happens. Okay, great. It did show up. So my, my test order from today showed up. So which is good so I can actually show you what this looks like because I don't have orders generally in this account. This is a test account uh, mainly so I can do tutorials for you and I can try to replicate any errors that you may bring up to me as so I can look as, as an ambassador would. Um, but obviously I'm not placing orders. Um, so when I do, it needs to be a test order. So that, thankfully this test order came through and I can kind of walk you through this. So as you can see, this was a test order I placed earlier today at 2.23 p.m., January 17th. Uh, you can see the action ID, the brand, the event type, which is an online purchase. Uh, what you'll see different in event type is if it's a subscription, it'll say recurring subscription. Um, the status is pending because it's going to be pending for a while until it's approved, and then it can be processed and paid out to you. Um, and then you can see your sales amount, your action earnings, um, Tax, I don't really know why tax is on there. I don't really think that's applicable and any promo code if you happen to use one. So this is great. This this shows you just, you know, the orders. And if you have a, a couple of them, this top area here, this will total it. So you can kind of get like a a full grasp of how many, how many sales you've referred and how many earnings you're set to earn. Um, but what is really important that I wanted to show you about this specific report is this report actually pulls in order number, um, which generally is not viewable from the ambassador view. I can see it on my advertiser view, but ambassadors can't see it. But I've worked with Impact to pull the, push, push this through for you so you can at least see the order number. Now, I understand it's it's difficult to not be able to see the client names and their email address and everything of that sort. I understand the frustration there, um, but it's unfortunately something it's personally identifiable information and we can't pass it in an affiliate pixel. Um, and coupled with the fact that we do have at home lab tests and we kind of are in the health space as well, it gets even more um, of a, of a non-starter basically, because then you're talking about um, people's health data too, which is even worse than just regular data <laughs> or not worse, but more sensitive, I should say. So what I wanted to show you on this report is, uh, let me move my head here. Um, 
you if you click this show and you go down to let me see if I can go down to let me just search it up here actually um it's going to be oh it's going to be sorry text one i had a little bit of a blank out there but it's going to be the text one field that you're going to want to um, under the show thing, you're going to want to click this show field, scroll down and select text one and make sure that's selected. And then you're going to re search using the magnifying glass. Now, let me move my head again. I don't know why this won't go away. It's kind of in the way, but what you can do is once you have this text one showing and you re initiate the search, if you move all the way over this little bar that'll that you know helps you toggle over you'll see the text one field and you'll see this this value in here this 371325 that value is the order number so this is a really really invaluable way to kind of get a grasp on which orders are which and you can find the order number and then it, so if you know your client placed order number 371325 and then you go in here and you see this order is 371325 then you know that client's order tracked so this is this is a pretty useful tool um to to try to just help kind of keep track of what's going on in your account and kind of keep your clients and their orders hopefully more straighter um i it's it's not ideal that it comes into this text one field um, that would not be my first choice, but that's, that's the, um, that's the process that impact has in place to, to pass this. So that's what I had to do. Um, but that's why I recorded this video. So, you know, to do that, because without this video, nobody would ever know to even, um, select that field and look. So anyway, this is another way to see if your, uh, orders tracked and you can match up your orders with the order number that comes through in the text one field. Uh, just a reminder, this is the Equal Life Advanced Action Listing order number report. And I think it's um, conversions with order number is I think is what it's called on your dashboard when you just click that, that quick link. Let me just go back. Yes, conversions with order number. So that's all you have to do. And um, hopefully that's helpful. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks.